Hello my friends and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to talk a bit about Gran Turismo 7. It has been a long time. Oh, well, not that really because I still did the comparison of uh, TDFB and True Force in a video not that long ago. And this video will also be about the True Force. So what happened is uh, Polyphony Digital released a patch for Gran Turismo 7 that said that improved the uh, physics of it all. And they are right because I can see and I can feel it when I uh, have to break and when I turn in, I can feel the difference here. But they also changed some other things for the Logitech G Pro itself. One of those things is that they unlocked the full potential of the G Pro. So before it was like capped off at um, I think seven or eight uh, newton meter, but now it can you can experience the full 11 newton meter of the base in this game, which of course is yeah what we would have expected before, but now it is actually the case. This um, will be felt in in GT3 cars, for example. You will feel a bit more uh, violence uh, in the corners. Um, so yeah. You, you will feel the difference so that is um, quite noticeable for newton meter other thing that they changed is the thing that i am a bit uh yeah angry about the true force so the true force is a fantastic um a fantastic feature in the base it makes the driving less bland and with less bland i mean that you have some revving in the engine that you have some jolts when you shift true force adds this but no longer with the new update or at least not in the same way that it did before the revving feeling is still there so a lot lighter but it is still there but the shifting for example is completely gone you can't feel it anymore when you shift. Now, I used the settings that uh, they provided for the new uh, update, which basically means, yeah, you put everything on max. Um, but yeah, it doesn't solve anything. I also updated the, the wheelbase to the latest um, firmware. Doesn't do a, yeah, a thing. So they really, really nerfed the true force. And that's a bit sad. I really um, loved the way it felt, the wheelbase on GT7. And okay, perhaps it's not that hyper-realistic, but it just, yeah, it's still a game. Huh? I mean, I drive for fun and for me, fun is, yeah, being able to choose how much true force I want to feel. So I hope that Polyphon and Digital will bring out a patch and will restore this uh, this true force levels, but we'll sell, we shall see. I do have a theory though about uh, why they tune. I uh, turn it uh, a bit down because um, Fanatic is going to bring out the full force on uh, GT Seven in a while. So iRacing, it has been uh, finished, but it has not been implemented yet. Um, and, GT, uh, and GT7 will be the second game that they implement it to. You also um, hear people say that with their uh, DD Plus or Club Sport DD Plus or Extreme uh, Base, which supports the True Force, that there is also a big uh, difference going on there when uh, with the Force feedback. So I'm, I'm sure they are working on that part and I think re I really think that this related why the true force was nerfed perhaps to um, make people see that the full force is yeah, much better than the true force when it is nerfed uh, when it is nerfed and that they will buy more the uh, the fanatic base instead of the logitech one just just a theory that, that I have. Um, I don't have any proof for this, of course. 
but yeah well that was uh that was actually my rant i mean the update did a lot of good things also uh, i mean there is always comments on the physics of uh, gt7 and they really tried to to uh, improve it and i can notice it they did a good job on it but to touch the true force is really for me uh, something not done thank you all for uh for listening what your what are your uh, thoughts about the true force because yeah some of you i know uh you have uh, the wheelbase and some of you uh, play the gt7 well, what has this update been for for you for your experience with it i would love to hear it so put it in the comments and i will see you all next video bye bye